Are you exhausted? Yeah. He said I'm anemic, so. You're anemic and you didn't tell me? I just forgot. We're gonna go to the doctor right now. Alright. Come in. Hi Jackie. How are you doing today? Good. I'm, I'm tired. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Dr. Chen. I'm your doctor for today. Um, so your lab results came in and your hemoglobin is at a six, and that's very low. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna recommend and prescribe a blood transfusion for you. Um, I can't receive blood. It's actually against my religion. So. Oh, okay, because blood transfusion is going to be the best option for you to really help get your hemoglobin up. It'll help you feel better. So there's nothing we can do with the blood transfusion. No. Is there any other option? Okay, so we have another option. We have a drug called epigen. So epigen is a biosynthetic form of a natural hormone called erythropoietin, which is secreted by your kidney, which helps. Um, <laughs> Sorry, helps promote the synthesis of red blood cells. So that's another option we can do since blood transfusion is not um, an option that we can use for you. Okay. But there are a couple things that you need to know with epigen. So for one, you do have to have adequate iron stores in your body. So we're going to have to check for that to make sure that your iron levels are adequate or else epigen isn't going to work. Um, another thing is that the use of vitamin C may actually help promote um, the absorption. So we'll do that as well. And then you need to know some of the risks with epigen. So one of the risks is it does increase your chances for hypertension. So we're gonna have to monitor for that as well. We'll check your blood pressure now and make sure that you're stable. And then um, we'll continue to, to monitor your blood pressure as well. Um, another risk is it will increase your chance for blood clots. Um, so prophylactically, we're gonna um, administer, or I'm gonna order for you uh, warfarin, which will help thin out the blood to help prevent some of the clotting. Okay. And then um, also, are you planning to get pregnant anytime soon? Nope. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. Okay, perfect. So I'll get that order ready for you. Do you have any questions for me? Um, how do I take your medication? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a nurse come in and she's gonna explain how epigen is gonna be administered for you. Okay, perfect. Great, thank you. Hi Jacqueline, my name is Bridget. I'm gonna be your nurse for today. I'm here to go ahead and administer your epigen. Um, Dr. Chen told me that she already discussed epigen with you while we're giving it. You know, it's gonna increase your um, your iron and your red blood cells, yes? Yes. Okay, great, let me go ahead and wash my Okay, great. Um, before we start, do we have any allergies? No. No? Okay, great. Let me please verify your name and date of birth. Jacqueline Zucato, 72590. Okay, great. We're going to verify that. All right, great, wonderful. Let me go ahead and put on some gloves. Okay. Um, so it is going to have a little bit of pinch. I'm going to give it to you subcutaneously. Before I give it to you, if you feel anything like hypotension, which is a drop in your blood pressure, any headaches, anything out of the ordinary, fatigue, dizziness, um, maybe some constipation or muscle cramps, please let me know because it could affect your potassium level. So we want to make sure we monitor that and don't let any complications occur. Okay. okay. All right. Great. Okay. So first we're going to go ahead and we're going to Jackie, if you need anything, let me know, okay? If you feel any of those things we discussed, please just call me, all right? Here's your call light. Thank you. This for all my people where your blood is real low. You need some epigen in your life. Ha! Huh? Let's get it. Epo, 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 epo gen. Your kidney's failing? Get some epo gen. Your RBC low? Get some epo gen. Get it, get it. Get some e
Epo Jam. Get it, get it, get some Epo Jam.